Hello everybody and welcome to the preview for the Tokyo Joshi Pro January 4th Cork and Hall show. This is generally the biggest show of the year, except for I guess Wrestle Princess which is the new big show, but hey you never know. So let's hope that this show can get us off to a much better start than we had in 2020. Because holy shit, what a terrible year. <laughs> the opening match will be Suzume versus Arisa Endo. This is a big deal for Suzume because to be wrestling someone in their debut match is a big deal. There's a lot of pressure on your sort of shoulders so it shows that they really trust her a lot. I don't know much about Arisa Endo other than the fact she was in Cheer 1. She is endorsed by Rika Sky so they probably think of her very highly because of that. And uh, other than that it should be a very fun match. Rookies are always interesting to see in their first appearance because they could go on to be anyone. Then we have uh, originally... This next match, Marika Kobashi was meant to be in the match, but she's tested positive for COVID. She's been replaced by Yuna. So it'll be Yuna Manase and Moka Miyamoto. There's Pom and Haruna Neko. This should be a classic fun tag match. Moka still hasn't got a win. This could be a big deal for her to get it. Yuna should be great as always. And uh, Pom and Haruna Neko will be very funny, I'm sure. Then we have the now traditional, after last year, uh, name change match between Shoko and Hyper Masao. Both obviously had very big years last year. Uh, Hyper Masao was doing the changing gimmick for a lot of last year too. So this will be interesting. Uh, if it's anywhere near as entertaining as last year, it'll be absolutely knocking out of the park. Then we have the special tag match, which is Ajikong, Mizuku, Raku versus Miyu, Nao and Mirai. A lot of storylines in this one. Will Ajikong do the Goodnight Express? What's going on with... Miyu to be this far on the set card. Will Morai knock down Adrikong? Either way, it should be a fantastic match, and uh, I'm looking forward to it a great deal. Definitely up there, considering. Then we have Neo Bishkigun, Saikizama, and Mei Saint Michelle versus Hikari Noah and Seni Shiori. So, Senna is the rookie who debuted last year's Crocodile show on January 4th. So, that's a little bit of a interesting wrinkle to this. She's also uh, friends of Hikari Noah. Outside of wrestling, I believe their tag team name is now Best Friends. Which is some fun stuff. Saki-sama is doing the classic Neo Bishigun thing. Where she's bullying a weak wrestler. Being Senna, who's already lost her a few times. And Mei Saint Michelle is her newest goon. And she's a fantastic goon at that. So yeah, this should be a fun match. I don't think Neo Bishigun will lose this early. But anything can happen. And we have Miyu Yamashita. versus Maki Ito. Maki obviously has a lot of history with Miu and is trying to prove herself. Miu is just here for the violence as always, but uh, she will definitely deliver. Not much to say about this other than, you know, if you know the story of Maki O, uh, almost every pivotal event in her career has involved Mizuki or Miu. So after she's already basically conquered Mizuki, she now has to conquer Miu to go to the next level. Then we have the Bakuretsu sisters, Nodoka and Yukieno versus Yukikamifuki and Mihiro Kiro Kiyu, who are, I think, something university. I didn't quite catch the, their team name. But, uh, so Yuki's still international princess champion. She was gonna challenge the tag titles, but then she broke her finger. And then her, then Mihiro entered a tag title match, I believe, with Pom as a replacement, and they lost. Then Yuki won the title. In the tournament that Mihiro failed in. They had a match. And now they are once again reunited as a tag team. So you know a few things. Then we have the big match. Yuka Sakazaki vs Rika Tatsumi. Rika entered the company at the same time as Yuka. But Yuka's already been champion twice. Rika is probably the, old, the person in the company the longest. Hasn't won the title. So it's probably a big deal for her to do it. Uh, Yuka's reign has been excellent despite the pandemic and uh, hopefully she will either get to continue it or have such a good match we won't be sad it's over is the best thing to put it. A few extra things for this show. For the very first time there will be English commentary which is very exciting on Wrestle Universe. If you want to watch it without English commentary I believe there's a free Abemba stream for the show which is pretty cool with uh, Japanese commentary. So that's great. So uh, I believe the commentary team is the two guys who do Noah English commentary on Fight and Chris Brooks. So at least we'll have someone knowledgeable of the product, knowledgeable of the workers. And uh, it should be a fantastic show. So I hope everyone enjoys it.